Good morning, Nancy. We had a class not uh, too long ago. I'm trying to do all my recordings during the day, uh, just to not have to go to sleep at 1 a.m. So uh, this is the New York Magazine, and uh, this is like showing poverty in America. So you have the magazine. Uh, it's, uh, it's really terrible, actually. The level of uh, dirtiness and everything. So anyway. Uh, close up, this is a chapter about special relationships. We did it, this part, we did it. Uh, it's also on the other video. So be careful of suspicious, sniff, physical disability and rubble. So I'm going to zoom in because I don't have my glasses right now. And it's pretty hard for me to see. So dogs in a human, human world. The friendship between humans and dogs possibly began 14,000 years ago. Perhaps wild dogs became interested in human rubbish or trash, or humans took the puppies of wild dogs and trained them to be obedient, like to obey pets and helpers. When humans choose the parents of dogs, it can create a wonderful variety of dogs with plenty of talents and many different looks. Here are, here are four examples of a dog's life in the human world. Okay. Check if everything is fine. So now, food sniffers dogs. Jax is one member of the I think it's like the Beagles, Brigade, by a Brigade, I guess, a group of Beagles. And those are like the small dogs. It's like it's are white, brown, and black. Uh, you know, they work in. Uh, they can they can be hunter dogs, and they can also be, um, you know, working in different areas like the airport. Okay, so it's a food sniffer dogs. So a group of beagles that work at international airports in the United States. Their job is to smell and find illegal fruits, vegetables, and other foods in luggage and mail. These foods sometimes bring insects and diseases which could be dangerous for plants and animals. The beagle calmly sits down next to anything that smells suspicious. The dog's human partner that then checks for illegal foods. Why beagles? They are friendly and cute, so they don't scare people as they sniff through the crowds. More importantly, beagles have astonishing nose for food. The beagle brigade, brigade, brigade can find food in luggage and packages 84% of the time. Treated like a queen, some dogs live in luxury. So Tiffy, a lovely Maltese is one of these. Her owner, Nancy Jane Lowry, treats her like a queen. She carefully prepares Tiffy's meal of meat, fish, chicken, and a variety of fresh vegetables. Tiffy also eats yogurts and biscuits, cookies after dinner. Lowry husband has a very good job and her two sons are away at university, so she has a time and money to treat Tiffy extremely well, and she truly enjoys doing it. I want to give her the healthiest, most wonderful life possible for as long as possible, she says. You know what it means? That means probably she feels guilty about not necessarily giving the best uh, you know, life to her sons, even though they are at the university. So there is this kind of a, a culpability uh, aspect, which is not that bad, actually. Uh, but I wish that was a human being taking care of that. I mean, enjoying this life. So zooming out here, we have, of course, we always have an exercise based on this text, OK? Look at the sentences below about dogs, read the text to decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Why dogs have existed for approximately 14 years ago, or 14 years, for 14 years, that's a duration. Humans are responsible for the different kinds of dogs in the world. All airports in the United States use beagles to check for food, that's not true. 
Uh, some foods are not safe because they can carry sicknesses, illnesses. Mm. Tiffy eats home cooked meals, not normally dog food. JC doesn't help the patients in hospital. Service dogs can do simple tasks for people, tasks for people who cannot walk. Uh, SAR dogs use their sense of smell to find people who are lost. Dogs that love to chase a tennis ball do not meet rewards, do not need, need rewards. And uh, it is possible that one day there will be no more wolves. I have no idea. Okay. You see, if you have time to, to go through that, that we will be able to, to go to the next page next time. Dangerous, astonishing, lovely, strong, obedient, and beneficial. Okay. Animals, animal carriers. Jesse is a whippet that visits very sick children in hospital. She knows them. She shows them her love and gives the children a chance to exercise. When they feel down, Jesse makes them happy. Jesse helps patients like young Lucas Parks to stay strong during their time in hospital. There are many different kinds of animals that help people. We train service dogs to help people with physical disabilities. The best non-service dogs are guides for the blind, but four-legged, so it's not legged, okay, well, that's legged, uh, friends, that means the friends with four legs, uh, okay, performed other roles too. They can learn to open and close doors, turn lights on and off, pick up objects from the floor, and even pull wheelchairs. Doggy detectives, search and rescue, S-A-R, search and rescue dogs, use their amazing noses to find people. Hercules and Alsace, Alsatian, it's from Alsace, from France, hmm. can smell tiny clues that people leave wherever they go. These include bacteria, small pieces of clothing, and hairs, and hair in American English. He has found missing hikers and has searched through rubble, the small rocks, after earthquakes and other disasters. SAR dogs must be strong, obedient, athletic, and smart. Most of all, they must love to play. Trainers look for dogs that go crazy over um, a favorite toy, such as a tennis ball. These dogs will do any job if the reward afterwards is playtime. As workers uh, or pets, dogs are certainly beneficial to humans in many ways. They have a special place as man's best friend, and this has helped dogs to survive in our world. Wolves and wild dogs have nearly disappeared from the earth, but the number of pets and working dogs continue to increase because of their special relationship with humans. So now, you're going to be able to answer all these questions because we couldn't really talk about wolves. Just this part was not really talking about wolves. Okay, so we have, um, it's like four different paragraphs. Anyways, and to finish this page, do you know anyone who has an animal helper? Do you think it's right to let animal works for humans? Why? Why not? And next time we'll go through all the vocabulary and we'll talk about, well, the Mount Everest. You have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Friday. Take care and see. Bye-bye.